Next Wave DV presents NAB 2013. Made possible by Red Rock Mike Roll. Introducing the one man crew. Zeiss, we make it visible. Kessler Crane, innovative tools for filmmakers. We're at the Sony booth with Whitney. And uh, NLEs are just constantly being upgraded. Uh, you know, everything, new features are being shoved in them almost every year. We're finding new things out. I know that Sony Vegas Pro has got a ton of new stuff, so can you show that to us? Yes. So in the latest version of Vegas, Vegas Pro 12, we've added over 40 new features. So I'm going to show you guys just a handful of those. Um, what we've done this time around is, is made the program easier to use, more intuitive, but also expanded on um, all of the robust tools that Vegas is known for. So I'll show some of those. So right now, uh, we have expanded edit mode. So what we have here is two clips. We have a kind of a back angle. We went on a two camera shoot here. We have this rollerblader, uh, and then we have the front angle of him. But what I want to do is create um, an edit where as soon as he connects with the wall, we switch over to this clip here. We switch angles. We make this a Okay, so to do that in Vegas Pro 12, we've made this really easy to make sure that you're making your edit on the specific spot that you need to be making it. So we'll double click where the two events can, uh, come together on the timeline, and this opens expanded edit mode. So now we see a beautiful two up preview window. So we see um, the camera A on the A roll track and camera B on the B roll track. And so now what we'll do is we'll just left click and drag on the A-roll track until the skater is right on the wall. And we'll do the same thing for the B-roll track. And you'll notice that here on the timeline, some of these events are now grayed out. This indicates that those frames are not being used in my edit. So I'll drag clip A to clip B and play it back here. And that's, that's my edit. And if I'm happy with that, then I can just double click on where the two events are joined on the timeline again and go back to the, look, the standard look and feel of Vegas. So now, are those two, uh, the edits that you did there, the grayed out section, can you pull that up if you need to tweak it later on then? If you need to tweak it later on, yes. At any time you can double click and go back in here and move things around and adjust them as you need to. I see that being a very handy for when you're doing these multi-cam shoots, but if you're not quite sure where the edit needs to be and you need to show the director exactly. and then be able to quickly move that back and forth. Yeah, I mean, this is a great opportunity to, to really see the event um, that you're editing. So um, instead of using you know, the tiny standard window, uh, preview window that we have here, uh, the expanded edit mode does just what the name says. It expands uh, the preview so you can really see what you're editing. And that shows up anytime the two clips are next to each other and you double click them? Absolutely, yep. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is probably one of my favorite features. Um, this is color match. So we have two, two events. We went to a beach and we shot these at the same, same day but different times of day. So we have one image where it looks like the sun has gone down and one where the sun has not gone down yet. But what I want to happen is I want to make it look like both of these shots were shot at the same time of day. And with Vegas Pro 12 you can now do that. So I want to match to this clip here. I want to make everything look like it was shot after the sun has gone down. So I'm going to open up this clip in the trimmer, which it already is. You can just right click the clip and choose open and trimmer. And then on the clip that I want to manipulate, I'm going to open up the video effects window, go to my Sony plugins, and choose Sony color match. Add that. And now there are a variety of places where I can match. I can match to what's in the trimmer, which is what I want to do. Or if I had something copied to my clipboard, I could match to that. If I had an image on my computer somewhere that I wanted to match to, I could match to that. Or I could match to any color that's in my monitor right now. But I'm gonna choose my trimmer window. And we'll see this pop over to blue. And now, we're missing some of those orange and gold highlights that weren't here previously. So I can use the strength slider to bring some of those back. Back off the blue just a little bit and bring back those natural highlights. Create a cross face so you can see the action of this clip. And it looks like they were shot at the same time of day. Now, for color matching, uh, one technique that a lot of color graders use, including myself, is you go through uh, each uh, luminance channel and you basically say, okay, the red's about this high, and you match 
Is that essentially what this is doing then, or how is it getting those yeah. colors to, to view it? Yep, that's exactly right. It's matching the, the luminance. And you, there are presets, so if you know that you want to bring out the pastels in this, you could choose that option. If you wanted to bring out you know, the teals and oranges, you could choose those presets. Otherwise, you could manually match it by using it, uh, any of these buttons here. That can very, very, very much uh, speed up a, a color grade process for people that need to get something out very quickly. It comes quickly. in handy all the time. So let's say, you know, what happens is two people go on a camera shoot, one edits, in, uh, one white balances in the sun, one white balances in the shade, they come back with different looking video. Uh, color Match rescues that really easily. Okay, so the next thing I want to show is XAVC. We just lo we just released a new update to Vegas Pro 12, which now supports XAVC footage right on the timeline, completely natively. So I'll right-click one of these clips to show you the project properties. It's XAVC 4K file. You can now edit this in Vegas um, without transcoding it first to put it on the timeline. So that's a big deal, um, and it's, it's brand new to the latest update of Vegas Pro 12. So 4K is becoming a more major workflow for everyone, and Sony is definitely a leader in that. The, the XAVC codecs are, are being a predominant 4K codec for all the different camera options. That's right. Uh, what kind of what kind of workflow can people expect for 4K in Vegas? Like, what would that process be like? Yeah. So if you're familiar with the Vegas Pro uh, workflow already, you're not going to notice anything differently. The only difference is. XAVC is now able to be imported on the timeline. So if you're not familiar with Vegas, in order to edit, what you need to do is find your XAVC clip and simply drag it to the timeline. And that's it. And now you can edit it just like you would any other footage, let's say MBEG2 or AVI or something like that. So nothing else that you need to do special in order to work with this kind of footage. And then when you're ready, just go to File and Render As and render to any kind of file format that you're looking for. Very good. And now what about red footage? Red footage is supported as well and I do have some of that on the timeline here. So here this footage is from a red camera. It's 4K and even on a very stellar machine like the one I'm using, playback, even in preview mode, is, is not very great. So we're seeing less than one frame a second here and editing this would be just a, a nightmare. Um, I wouldn't be able to edit it because I don't see the action of the clip. What I can do is create a proxy. So Vegas Pro 12 has something called proxy workflow. And what that means is I can go ahead in the preview or the project media window where my clip is stored and right click it and choose create video proxy. And what happens when I do that is that a proxy is created behind the scenes uh, in the same folder um, that ho holds the original clip that's on my timeline. And a proxy that's created is an MPEG-2 file. So when I create a proxy, it's created behind the scenes in that folder, and then Vegas will tell me when that's done. And as soon as it is done, then I can go ahead and edit it. Uh, I'm going to cancel this because I've already created one for you guys, which is down the timeline here. And now when I play this back, it plays back super smoothly. This is something that I would definitely be able to edit without a problem. And any time, the cool thing about this is that any time I'm in preview or draft mode, I'm using the proxy. I'm using that MPEG-2 file. Anytime I switch on over to good or best, I'm using the full res. So there is a, a kind of a switching going on behind the scenes. So there's the full, full res, obviously not playing back that well. I'll switch on over to preview and play it back. And here's the MPEG-2 file. So now the proxy is being handled directly in the NLE, and when you go to export, you don't have to swap things back like some workflows. That's a great question. You no, know, you do not have to. By default, Vegas uh, renders to good quality, which means that uh, by default, the full res version is the version that's being rendered. So you don't have to do anything else. Once you're done editing the proxy, when you're ready to render out, it's going to render that full res red file. Very good. All right, so got a lot of new cool features, very, very quick uh, workflow, and things that everybody's going to be looking for to speed up their entire video production process. Absolutely. What can people expect for the price point on Vegas Pro? Sure, the price point is $699 MSRP. Um, yeah. Very good. Well, thanks for your time, Winnie. Thank you very much for stopping by. Great. Subscribe to Next Wave TV, where filmmakers get educated.